Hi everyone. I'm making this video about a 2001 GMC Sierra 2500 HD Duramax Diesel. Uh, I've been doing this job today. It was about replacing the injectors on it. As you can see, I wanted to show how all the new injectors will look already installed. They're already in the head. All I gotta do is tie the bolts down. <clears throat> I scanned the truck with the scanner and came out to be we had three bad injectors. So I talked to the customer. The problem was that all three weren't on the same head so he decided to replace all eight of them it's a little bit of money thanks god i got a little bit of a connection over there at the place where i got them from and i got a really good price for all of them 179 dollars each Ooh, i guess that's good so this head i just got the top cover off with the injector connectors or the wiring harness that goes inside the head inside the valve cover and I'm about to take the bottom cover off um, and do it like that just wanted to share this up and we'll see how it goes hopefully it won't take me that long and another thing I wanted to share is that you don't really have to be taking everything apart from the truck in order to get to them as you can see I haven't even got my coolant reservoir off oh, I haven't even took the hoses off and um, all the wiring harness is still on spot um, all I had to take off was the you know the uh, fuel filter um, and the injector drive module that goes on top of the valve cover and pretty much you got enough of space all I had to take off from top was the alternator and I was able to get to all the bolts around the valve cover and you know just move every single hose to the side like this heated hose I was able to move it to the side everything else should stay uh, like this metal hose too it's um it's the other heated hose all you gotta do is take the bolt the hose that down and uh, you should be able to work around there uh, with no issues out of it. So this truck only has 122,000 miles. It's a nice truck, but it was skipping a little bit. Actually, before we did the head gaskets on it, but the customer wanted to save a little money on it. And he ended up not replacing the injectors. So now we are having to tear, tear back apart just to get to the injectors. But good thing is that if you know a little bit the engine you should be able to know what to take off and what not but uh <clears throat> it's a nice truck it's a good engine to work on it's got a lot of uh bolts 12 millimeter bolts it's got a bunch of them and you know it's nothing to do with the 7.3 um i will say that i like 7.3 better than this uh i don't really know why but it's too many wires. This thing's got too many wires. But we'll continue as we go. On the driver's side, lower cover. You see how tight this is? But you will have access to the two bolts over here by the AC bracket. So that means you don't even have to take the free on the loose free on lines or ac lines are loose you can still leave it like they are so you don't have to pay for that or you pack it to fill it up so you know don't take this don't take the power stating pump the loose um the only thing that you will have to take off is the thermostat uh housing off 
because the whole neck comes on top of the valve cover. I mean, you're gonna be able to see it whenever you start doing the job, but I just wanted to share this little tip right here. Don't take the cover, I mean the AC bracket off. You don't have to. So I got all these four out. As you can see, there's another one left over there. And uh, the cups were new when we did the hair gasket, so everything looks nice. Everything looks clean. This engine is really, really, really clean. So it's nice. See the old ones right here. <coughs> So we're about to start putting them back together. Like I showed you earlier, that one over there, it's already done. All I gotta do is tighten them down. So I'm about to start putting this Ford back together and see how it goes. So this is how the new ones come. Really nice, I love them. Just gotta put a little bit of oil right here so the old ring can slide really good in there. It's no problem. Take. I don't take this one or that one off. These two little cups. Until I got them done. But. This one right here you will have to take off. I mean you don't have to. But it's easy out here because. It's kind of tight. Um, it's kind of hard to get this one out. In there in the head. So. Uh, if I was you I will take that out but this is nice wow really nice you can tell they've been redone i mean you you can see how nice they look but this is what a new injector looks like we're about to slide them in so i got the bottom cover on as you can see the new injectors have been installed on the driver's side head, the wiring harness for the injectors are already installed, tightened up. There's a little bit of silicone under the wiring harness over there, no leaks expected after that. Everything's been tightened down. I wanted to show it before I close it up because after we close it up, there's nothing else we can see. So as you can see, it looks nice and neat. Like I told you earlier, we don't have to take this bracket off in order to remove or install the valve cover. As we continue. All right, as you can see, I got one side done, lower, upper cover and the feeding lines everything's been tightened down it's looking nice I think it's coming along pretty good so we'll keep on going on I know it's really late there's no much noise going on around it's um about 1 20 in the morning getting this job done so we'll continue hopefully keeps on going smooth like it is right now passing your side head all four injectors being tightened down the return line is already Tighten down to ready to put the bottom cover on. It's looking nice. All right, here we have the right side cylinder head ready for the last cover. Got the uh, lower cover on the wiring harness for the injectors already on it tightened down 
So we'll go ahead and put the last top or the last cover on it. And we are almost through with the job. After putting the cover, it's all matter of it's matter of uh, putting all the connectors, hoses. There's not that many hoses. Just the uh, cooling hoses and but from the diesel, from from fuel is is only few of them because just on the passenger side had to be it was you know the, on top of the this head right here goes the injector drive module module so that's the only one that we need to uh, worry about I mean it's a little tricky to put on but besides that the job is not too bad at all as we continue okay got the passenger side head covered up feeding lines on tighten down with the lock on it and then put the uh, I believe it's called um, some type of ventilation, crankcase ventilation hose, one head to another, uh, ready to get some wires hooked up right now and see how it goes. A little tip I wanted to share with you guys is the in the glow plug relay you know this little box it's got the intake heater and the uh, glow plug relay together so something that took me a while to find out or figure it out the first time I did uh, this thing is the you know these two little wires you see they, they are almost exactly the same because they got this little blue cover at the end of them but you see they got two little plugs right here now and uh, after that they they changed the color so you know you see one that is some kind of a pink light pink color and the other one is blue so you know I just wanted to see if I can share this um, if you look at the at the relay you got three bolts where you can hook wires to it'll be one two and three so the first one you see the the one on top is the one that's got the power is is the one that comes from the battery and uh, this is positive all the time so from that one but these two are the ones that I was a little concerned about when I first did it it's um but the first one you're gonna see right here this one is for the intake heater now you find the wire from from the intake heater all the way to the first one and then the second one is gonna be the glow plug um, stud over here now what about these two little wires you gotta hook the blue one to the glow plugs stud right here the pink one has got to go to the intake heater so you know maybe you're trying to find this information hope this helps somebody too just a little tip I wanted to share but as far as the job goes as you can see I done got all this side done it's done um it's got the injector drive module um, everything else is done on this side even the heated hoses they are done we are about to get this side done too pretty much all the connectors are done the injector connectors are done everything is done oh just a few little things to do so as we continue all right guys it's 4 17 in the morning I got the truck back together all the inner cooler lines, the belt, the um, cooling system has been bled, and 
everything is hooked up, even the batteries. So we'll see what it does. Just got, I just got to uh, bleed the fuel system one more time and then I'll try it. We'll see what it does. All right, it's being done. What I'll do is I'll try to put my camera somewhere around here. I think it's not gonna work. Image is gonna be sound because can hardly hold my phone up. 